Excellent. If we run out of schedule or we run out of budget, we'll be able to know or uh, see the different parameters that we can put in place in order to keep our project back on track. Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoga Enterprises. Today's topic is going to be on end value management. So this is going to give us a guide. So while we are carrying out our project or executing our projects, we will be able to measure the performance of our projects by looking at the scope, the, scope, the time, the cost, and the schedule, which is very important. So we'll be able to know if our project is on schedule or is on budget. So while we carry out our projects, if we run out of schedule or we run out of budget, we'll be able to know or uh, see the different parameters that we can put in place in order to keep our project back on track. Because while we are carrying out our projects, we are expected our project to land at a particular spot. So landing at a particular spot here means we are going to meet to the scope of the project. We are going to meet on the time. We are going to meet on the budget as well as the quality of the project it is very important to look at the specification and make sure that we land at the right or the required spot. I'm going to share my screen. The Washington Macaulay Enterprises, please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing, as well as turn on the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching. Today's topic, and value management. So we define end value management. Is a project management methodology that integrates schedule, cost, and scope to measure project performance based on planned and actual values. It's very important. End value management predicts the future or predicts how a project is going to land and it enables the project manager to adjust accordingly the different parameters. So we have some key elements which we are going to be defining we have our N value, which is EV, which is equals to percentage of completion multiplied by the budget of the project. So AC, we are going to be using as actual cost. Plan value, which is PV. Schedule variance, which is SV, which is equal to the N value minus the plan value. Cost variance, which is cost variance, which is CV, is equal to EV minus AV, which is the N value, like we saw here, minus the actual cost, which is the AC, as you can see here. And then we have cost performance index, which is CPI, which is equal to EV divided by AC. Schedule performance index, which is SPI equal to EV divided by AC. So I'll drive you now to some important conditions so we get to understand. This will give us a guide so we know the performance of our project. So the first point, which will be when we have CPI, which is less than one, we'll have our project will be over budget, while SPI is behind schedule. So when we talk of the cost, will be over budget, and then the SPI, which is schedule performance index, will be behind schedule. So CPI, which is cost performance index, if it is less than one, it is over, but we'll be talking of our cost, which is over budget, and then we'll talk of the schedule, uh, SPI will be, be will, will be having our schedule, which is behind schedule when the SPI is less than one. So when we have the second point, we have CPI, which is greater than one, our cost will be talking of under budget. While SPI, when it's greater than one, is ahead of schedule. When we talk of the third point, which is CPI, which is cost performance index equal to one, 
it is exactly on budget. So our cost now, when we talk of cost, we'll be talking of uh, uh, CPI when it's equal to one, we are exactly on budget. And then when SPI equals to one, we will be talking of is as per the plan. So we've carried out our project as planned. We'll have a pra practical exercise, our project scope. So we're discussing on this part, which is installation of PVC conduit. So supposing you have a project or an electrical project, in this case, maybe we'll be talking of um, 24 seven hour electrician is carrying out an electrical installation works. If taking a, he has taken a project, which is installation of PVC conduit and back box installation for small power and lighting circuit. So we have a total budget or a total project budget is $3,000. Then the project is estimated to be completed in three days. And then we have a plan. We plan that amount to be spent on each day should be 1000 us dollars but as we started with the project at the end of day one we spent 1500 us dollar so now we need to verify if our project is on schedule or we are moving with cost or we are moving above cost it's very important so that why we move to day two, we know the different parameters to adjust in order to land at the right spot, which we are expected to land. Since we plan our project that we will be carrying out our project, each day we'll be spending 1,000 US dollars, but at the end of day one, we rather spend $1,500. So we have to prove and to find out the reason why all this happened so that we know exactly what are the different parameters to put in place so that we can best improve in order to land at the right spot which we are supposed to land. Move to the next slide. So if three days equal to 100%, so we have one day, which is the one day which we work, is equal to X percent. So X now will be equal to one divided by three, when we cross multiply, which is equal to 0 0.3, then 0 0.3 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 30. So we have a total of 30%, which we've completed. So percentage completed will be 30% for at day one, looking at the different parameters and how we've computed. So we now move to the next part, which is N value will be equal to, like we saw here, the end value will be equal to percentage of completion multiplied by the total budget. So we have percentage of completion, which is 30% multiplied by the total budget, which is 3,000 US dollar. So we'll have a value of 900 US dollar, which will be the end, the end value. Now we we'll move to the cost variance. Take us now to, so we have our cost variant, which is CV. So we move here now, we have our CV cost variant, which is equal to 900, which is the N value minus the actual value, which is the AV. So it will be equal to 600 minus 600 US dollars. So we are moving behind. So the next part now will be the schedule variance, which is equal to 900 US dollar, which is the end value, minus the plan value, which is 1,000, since we plan to complete per day 1,000 uh, US dollar, which is equal to minus 100 US dollar. So the key part now will be, the key part now will be the, cost performance index and schedule performance index in order for us to measure the performance of our project. So we have cost performance index, which is equal to the N value divided by actual cost. So N value, which we had as 900 US dollar divided by 1,500 US dollar will have 0 0.6. Since CPI, which is a cost performance index, as we saw here, cost performance index, when it is less than one, it means we are over budget. So now we move here. Since CPI is less than one, therefore the project is running above budget. 
we planned actually to spend per day 1,000 US dollar. But now we are spending per day. At the end of day one, we spend 1,500 US dollar. So the project now is over budget after doing this computation. So we'll now check also the schedule to see if we are on schedule. C SPI, which is equal to N value divided by plan value, which is equal to 900 US dollar divided by 1,000 US dollar. So we have it as 0 0.9, which is nearly to one as we saw in the condition. So if we have a SPI, which is less than one, it means that our we are behind schedule. So if we look at this one now, it's uh, 0 0.9, which is almost equal to one. So we say since SPI is less than one or nearly equal to one, Therefore, the project is running slightly behind schedule. It's very important. So after doing all that, we'll be able now to uh, draw our graph. So if we see this graph, we see our total cost, which is 1,000 1, plus 1,000 plus 1,000. We are going to have 3,000 US dollar, which is a total cost for that particular project for us to execute the installation of for uh, conduit and back box installation. So we have at the end of day one, which we planned that we are going to complete at the end of day one with a cost of 1,000 US dollars. So this is PV, which is a planned value. So at the end of day two, also PV will be 1,000. At the end of day three, PV will be 1,000. So when we came here now, we calculated our end value, which we had it as 900. So we calculated our actual cost now. So our actual cost normally at the end of day one, we had to spend 1,500, which is at this level. This is very important. So while we carry out our project or deliver our project to our client, we know exactly the different steps that we are carrying so that we know if our project is behind schedule or behind um, uh, budget or above budget and all that. So while we are moving further with car execution of the project, we know the different parameters that we are going to adjust in order to make sure that we land at the right spot. And like I did mention that landing at the right spot of a project after it's been planned, it is suffice that we should meet to the scope of the project, we we'll meet to the time of the project, and we we'll meet to the cost as well as the quality of the project, which is a specification. If all this is done, that means we've delivered a project on a win-win basis, whereby the customer is happy as well as the client is happy. It's very important. Till then, you're watching Makoke Enterprises.